you've had to come in here and um, quickly address uh, the problem because we saw um, a, le a leaning call here. Um, how much effort does this take? Because um, I, I know that the team started this morning, but a lot of work has been going on since uh, uh, la la last night. Um, how fast um, has this happened? Because we see the, the structure is already up, mm. and uh, when do we think this is going to be done? Because you're working under unusual circumstances, mm. so you're working against the forces of the lake. Yeah. So number one, you have to come to site actually confirm the integrity of the shoreline, mm. where you're going to extend the structure to, um, how uh, are there hard stones beneath the structure, how deep can you dig? Um, because a pole like that, um, it's quite long. Yeah. So it, there's a depth to which you must uh, excavate so that it really, really stands firm. Stands firm. Mm. Now, apart from that, you now have to start, the, the, um, you have to take measurements, because you have to now fabricate cages to reinforce the pole to uh, stand firm against the forces of the lake. So it's a lot of work, so a lot of things have to happen concurrently. Okay. We made sure that by the time we start executing today, everything starts and finishes today. Okay. So with the goal of making sure the public will be safe, but then also we shall not have um, the structure compromised in yeah. the short run. It's a very complex job that you have to do quickly but carefully. Okay, so mm. to ensure that we safeguard the lives of people here, yes. what plans do we have, especially for this area, knowing that it's mm. actually running uh, through, um, through a lake Mm. And um, you don't want such a thing to, to repeat again. Mm. Uh, you know, people are off, you know, mm. uh, supply. Um, what, what is the plan, medium mm. term and long term? So we are now going to reroute that line that is in the lake. And then we are now going to um, lay an underground cable on this, part, this side that is across from the structures in the lake. Yeah. Now, this will really, really uh, mitigate the risk of having lines in the water. So the overhead line will come across the road underground and point. then yes at the other point that is on solid land then run through, run through underground, underground mm -hmm. and then um it will come out from the from the other structure that is also on solid land and then we shall have mitigated this risk and once we conclude this work they will continue to enjoy the reliable supply that they've been enjoying um, ever since um we commissioned the new substation at Entebbe north but like you said earlier, we had to make sure the public is safe because this is um, a, a high voltage line in a water body and anything can really, really go wrong. So safety of the public first. But once these works are done today, they will continue enjoying the reliable supply that they've been enjoying. A lot of planning went behind the scenes to ensure that it's a one-day job. Thank yes. you, Marvin. You're welcome.